getting drunk with those bottles, but it's guys up. You guys good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Gotcha. Ah, oh, we went in. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's uh, bring you guys up real quick and do a little quick introduction about me. I'm a simple guy. I like to keep it simple. Uh, only the most important thing in life is just to be called Sir one time. I've never been called Sir. Um, what always happens, usually it happens at a Walmart. I'm walking in. You know, I'm dressed pretty neat, got a skinny tie on and whatnot. And um, I'm following an older white guy into Walmart. You know, and like there's usually bumps and hang out in the front, and they always go to the white guy first. And I say, excuse me, sir. I was wondering maybe perhaps you might stir some change, a little hard on time, blah, blah, blah. And the guy's always like, no, sorry, I have no cash. He's like, okay. And he sees me, and his attitude completely changed. He's like, yo, what's up, little man? Yo, check this out, my brother. My brother, yo, what's up? He's like, I deserve to be called Sam one time, right? <laughs> Um, but uh, one other funny thing was, I was in Walmart shopping, and I was in the medicine aisle, and I get to the uh, pediatric sp uh, spot, and there was one little label on one of the uh, boxes that said, approved by moms. Nothing else. Like, whose mother is going around okay and all this stuff? I wonder if they asked my mom. Um, my mom was the uh, type who uh, gave me tampons for my nosebleeds. <laughs> yeah, and I just found out that back still wasn't made for mosquito bites. Yeah. <laughs> just found out now. Yeah. But uh, some good news, well, good news, um, I just paid off my daughter's debt. Uh, she was dead. Yeah. Um, when she was born, I took the credit card out in her name to pay for the whole labor and everything. It was expensive. Um, so I paid that off. So maybe it'll look good on your college application, right? Uh, even more good news, I had my first threesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was pretty exciting. Um, I was with this girl, you know, we're having sex, and yeah, well, it wasn't going that fast. It was not going that fast. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to back this up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't judge me. So, we're doing our thing, right? And her cat jumps on the bed and starts looking at my asshole. And I was like, ah! And she was so into it. She was like, woo! No, not you. No. So, I stopped, you know. Turn around and the um, cat stops and looks at me like, Are you cool with this? <laughs> um, kind of no. um, but, um, let's see what else. Uh, my brother got a new girlfriend. Yeah, he likes his girls really skinny. Like, I can wrap my fingers around her waist kind of skinny, like, really thin. Like, more fine anorexic skin. And, like, I don't think his height, like, his teeth and liver is just like, man, like, this guy would probably get off on the old Holocaust photos. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, he's very Nazi. Yet yeah, she was sacrificed. Take shower scenes to a whole new level. Alright? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, what else? Uh, just go ahead and clear something up really quick. Um, I, I heard this thing about some stereotypes earlier. Uh, but clear it up. Um, some, some guy was talking about white people. They say, um, like, all oh, white people with dreads smoke weed. I used to have dreads, that's not true. I'm going to shut that down. All white people with dreads smoke weed, though. Yeah. And then um, they were saying, all white people with smoke menthols. Um, that's not really true either. Uh, all the white girls who love the white guys go to the ball, so. Yeah, and then there's like the whole big dick thing. I'm not really going to mess with that. I didn't like that one. Uh, speaking of the, the, the big dick, uh, black, guy, black guys have a big dick. Uh, did you know that that was originated like slavery days, right? The uh, slave master, like the uh, master, told all of the women, like their daughters, black, like, 
the slaves had the hands of and of them in their They fucked up. Like, uh, you could, like, throw on down their lineage. Like, there's still, like, that family secret. Like, only two people know. It's like, we don't talk about that guy. All of our grandkids are all part of life.
I just started the uh, new workout, uh, Sanity, doing the Sanity workout. Um, yeah, I haven't really seen any results though. Yeah, I, I, I've been, I'm like two months in, no results. I've been watching all the videos, and I'm like, everybody in the video is post-workout. And the girls are looking good. Now I'm thinking like I should probably stop masturbating every five minutes. <laughs> Maybe I'll see something like that. So, uh, I'm actually a nosy guy, um, pretty busy. And uh, I was listening to this conversation with two uh, white guys talking. And one goes to the other one, he's like, So, Dave, you kind of found out it was the baby yours? He's like, Oh, shit. He's there, and he's going on. And the other guy was like, uh, Yeah, yeah, Brian. Yeah, I saw that on the other side of it. I was like, what's my eyes? So, uh, next month, I would have been doing comedy for a year. I'm really excited. Yeah. Ow! Yeah, yeah. and uh, I was telling my friend this. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty excited. And I was like, you know. You know what you are? Um, I always saw comics as like these big special people who were born with this god given gift. And then I see him doing it. And it makes me think that I can do it too. So, that's right. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to represent him without guys real quick. I don't know that like I was already doing it. Um, you know what? Like, I just want to go with him to those. It's very tough being a guy, you gotta give us some slack. You don't know how hard it is just not being able to say no to sex. You know, like we want to say no sometimes. We just can't. Yeah, like, but we're going to do this no. or tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, I'm kind of jealous because what if you can meet with your best friend in a bathroom? Thank you. 